This is a 2015 Kawasaki Balkan S. And I absolutely love the motorcycle. Uh, I've had two complaints about it. One of them is that the throttle's a little twitchy on slow speeds, which I intend to change with the putting the throttle tamer. And the other problem is, is that the headlight is really kind of dim. And I'm fixing the headlight today. The stock headlight is somewhere between 1100 and 1500 lumens. And I just ordered an ultra bright 8000 lumen headlight off of Amazon. It is a uh, LED lighting. I'm not even sure what brand this is, but I'm going to put it in and track it out. I'm going to show you how to do that. The first step is going to take off the headlight. You, there's a little Allen key here, but you don't want that one. You want this one and this one. Look. Okay. First, you got to un unplug the bulb. And you got to pull this rubber cover off. And then there's this little this little clip. And you're just going to lift the bulb out. And then if it's as advertised, this one should just fit in. You should be able to just fit it in one way here. Okay, and then, see so after you put the clip back on, then you just need to put the rubber boot back around it. Then, just got to plug the headlight back in. Then you drop it back on. Now all you gotta do is put the bolts back in. Now all that's left to do is take it for a ride and try it out. And I did a before video with the, before I replaced the headlight. And I'm going to take this for a ride after dark and show you the after. Right away when I got the video back and put it on the computer and started processing it, I realized that in both videos the GoPro was aimed down way too much. And instead of seeing the road ahead, you mostly see the motorcycle. But I still think it does a good enough job to show you that there is a significant difference in brightness between the factory headlight and the LED bulb that I replaced it with. And especially when you're out of the city when there's no lights at all, it makes a huge difference. And it also makes a big difference during the day where cars can see you from a lot farther off. In future videos, of course, I will have it fixed so that my GoPro is aimed the correct direction, but I didn't want to re-record this video because I didn't want to have to put the old headlight back in to get another before picture. As you can undoubtedly tell from the way the sky looks and everything that this is shot a few days later, but not on the same day as I changed the headlight, and, uh, but hopefully you can see from the video I've recorded that there is a noticeable difference between the old headlight and the new LED headlight. And it was well worth the time and the money to switch them out. Anyhow, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you got some value out of it. I hope it helped you to decide whether or not you wanted to change the headlight out. And if you didn't know how to do it, I hope it showed you how to do it. So. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video.